Hello, my name is John Hagen. The upcoming disinfecting video you are about to view comes as a new normal daily approach in response to the COVID-19 virus. Overall, our goal is to keep our students safe and well. Reopening schools for safe and clean environments has led us to make changes in how the custodial routine gets done. This requires us to change the approach which disinfecting will be a priority. Where possible, we want the staff to start disinfecting their work zones and then move on to their other custodial duties. These guidelines we have received are from the major government agencies, CDC, ISSA, uh, probably the DPI, and step one was to create a clean and disinfection and disinfecting plan to ensure that cleaning personnel are properly trained three maintain healthy environments four communicate the cleaning and disinfecting plan five provide safer working conditions with that we have created a training video to help demonstrate the proper disinfecting steps Hi, my name is Stan Ritterbush, and I'm from Hamilton Van Heys. Hi, my name is Monique Covarrubias, and I'm from Spring Harbor Middle School. Hi, my name is Brian Lionel, I'm with Hamilton Van Heys. Hi, I'm Shua from uh, Hamilton Van Heys. Today, we're going to follow the CDC guidelines for cleaning schools. In addition to the CDC, we are going to follow the ISSA disinfectant response to the coronavirus. Our district has best cleaning practices that we follow after school. During the day, we will periodically do the touch surfaces throughout the day. Okay. In addition to classroom cleaning, today I'm gonna to show you how to disinfect a classroom. Morning, I'm Don with NASCO. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna take the mask off so that you can understand me a little easier. What I'd like to go over today is the difference between the Spartan system and the 3M system that we're going to with Madison schools. Some very distinct differences. This is the new 3M system. You all will be getting at least one of these per school. And this allows you to have four products preloaded, ready to go. The four products that we have in this particular unit are the core products you're gonna use. is a neutral disinfectant, a peroxide-based cleaner, a glass cleaner, and a neutral cleaner for your floors and mop buckets. This unit allows you to do a couple of different things. Number one, with the dial turned down to the water, it allows you to get plain water out of the system without having to disconnect the quick disconnect on the unit. So you can fill up anything that you need to fill up with just plain water. When you're ready for chemicals, simply turn the unit to the chemical that you want. In this case, let's turn it to the peroxide cleaner. Now, we simply turn it to the spray bottle or to the bucket fill, and this is gonna base how the flow is. The bucket fill is gonna come out of this unit. The quart or low flow, when I turn it to this, is gonna come out of this hose so that it comes out at a lower rate and doesn't foam up. So that allows you to pick which four product or water, low flow or high flow, to fill your desired need. The second unit that all the schools are gonna have is an individual dispensing unit. What makes this different than everybody else's on the market is that there's no dilution tip in the unit. The dilution tips are all based into the concentrate. This allows you to have glass cleaner, neutral cleaner, disinfectant, whatever you have, is gonna come out at the right mix. All you simply have to do is screw that product onto the, to the unit, and now the metering tip is built into the bottle. You're getting a new metering tip with every bottle, and it assures you you don't need four or five of these guns in every area. Just one of these units allows you to do everything you need to do with any product. Make sure that we're using the appropriate labels. The only one you're probably not going to need is a neutral cleaner because it's almost always going into a mop bucket. The rest of the products, the labels are online that you can order for the neutral uh, disinfectant, the peroxide-based cleaner, and the glass cleaner. You will want labels and make sure that you're using them appropriately. Here is the peroxide based cleaner. This you're going to use on bathroom fixtures, any spray and wipe. It's an all-purpose peroxide like you would have 
the previous peroxide based product. The next one would be the 17 which is a glass cleaner. This is 3M's best glass cleaner, so you will like this product, I guarantee it. Any shiny surface you can use this on. And then perhaps the most important product is the 42 disinfectant cleaner. This disinfectant is new, so it has the most kill claims. It actually kills in five minutes instead of the 10 minute kill claim that most of the products that are on the market and what you, you become accustomed to. So we have a couple of different ways that we can use this. So a little more on the disinfectant. The number 42 disinfectant can be applied a lot of different methods. The biggest mistake we don't want people to make is to spray and wipe it dry. So what I know a lot of people like to wipe and feel it's, you're doing a better job cleaning, which is great. So what we suggest is get the, get the rag or the cloth that you're using completely wet with the disinfectant. Go ahead and spray your surface. And now when I wipe it, I'm not wiping it dry. You can see that the surface remains wet. That's one method of doing it. A lot of other people will spray it and they will have their disinfectant and we have it labeled in the bucket. They will have their disinfectant in the bucket. They'll have their rag soaked with this always gloves, masks, and glasses would be preferred when you're using a disinfectant. Goggles or glasses because we don't want to be constantly getting this in our face. So this is a good way of doing it as well because now we're not atomizing the disinfectant. We're wiping the surface and again we're leaving it wet so that it, air can dry, it can air dry for five minutes. So with that, when you're using this method, make sure that you change the bucket frequently. You don't want to do half the school with one bucket. Obviously this is a hospital grade disinfectant and when it becomes soiled, time to change out the bucket. And one last thing, let's make sure that we're using the appropriate PPE. Let's be safe and smart. Goggles or glasses when you're using disinfectants or any harsh chemicals. Always wear gloves. We've been talking about it for years. Make sure you have your mask on. And also make sure that your labels are correct. Keep, keep to OSHA standards. Make sure you've got the right bottle, the right label. Never mix chemicals. We don't want to see anybody hurt. Don't try mixing bleach with anything. Or mixing any of the products on your own. Let's stay safe. Hi, my name is Monique. I'm from Spring Harbor and we're going to illustrate how to disinfect a classroom. I'm going to use my 3M number 42 hospital grade disinfectant and I'm going to show you how to disinfect your tabletops. You want to leave the rag just a little damp still. You want to make sure that you leave the surface wet for at least five minutes so that it can disinfect. Next, I'm going to show you how to disinfect the touch points like your door handles and your doors. The other touch points are your light switches. The next thing I'm going to do is disinfect the telephone. When appropriate, we want to disinfect the touch points of a chair. Since I'm using a cleaner disinfectant, I'm going to disinfect the sink and the touch points. Don't forget your touch points on your dispensers. For the sink, you want to make sure that you get your handles and then the rest of the sink.
We are now at the LMC. There are certain critical areas we want to hit with disinfectant. We're going to start with the door handles. Next, I want to disinfect all the tabletops and chairs. Another area I'd like to disinfect are other public seating areas. Another area in the LMC I'd like to disinfect are these tabletops and chairs. We want to disinfect other areas that are not upholstery. While working down the corridor, you want to disinfect your fountain or bubbler. When disinfecting the uh, touch points on the fountain or blah, blah, I want to use a spray bottle. While working down the corridor, you want to hit these touch points, including these doors. While working down the corridor, you also want to hit your uh, rails. And don't forget the elevator touch points. Now we're in the nurse's office and we want to make sure that we hit all the touch points in the nurse's office. While in the nurse's office, you want to make sure that you get all of the touch points, the sink, and the handles. Don't forget the light switches and door handles. Now that we're at the office, we're going to hit all the public area touch points. First, I'm going to do the door and the handle. Proceed to the light switches. We'll move on to the table, making sure I have enough moisture to leave the table wet for five minutes. We'll move on to the second door to our office. And we'll move on to the front counter. Make 
making sure I had all public touch points on the counter. Here we are at the restroom. We will be doing the deep cleaning in the evening, but during the day we will be doing periodically touch point disinfecting of the bathroom. We are going to do the touch points in the bathroom. As we enter the bathroom, we're going to do the light switch. We're going to proceed and we are going to do the door handle and the touch points on the door. We will let the door close. We will do the door handle on the back side. First, I'm going to spray onto the disinfectant on the toilet seat so it has five minutes of dwell time. Next, we're going to proceed out the door and we will do the door handle and door area as we leave the bath uh, stall. Then you're going to do the touch points of the urinals, which is really the top of the urinals, and you're going to spray it and let it sit for five minutes. Then you'll come over here and you'll spray the top of the sinks and let that sit for five minutes. And then you'll come back and you'll do your paper towel dispenser holders touch areas. You will just go down in order and do your soap dispensers. And you'll want to make sure you get the handle inside the paper towel. Now that we gave it dwell time for disinfectant to work, we're going to take the paper towel and we're going to wipe off the toilets and the sinks. Around the touch areas that we've sprayed with the disinfectant. Now you're going to grab a fresh towel and you're going to wipe down the top of the urinals. Now remember, the deep clean is at the end of the night. Now I'm just going to wipe down what we sprayed after the dwell time of drying. After spraying the disinfectant during the dwell time, you can do some obvious other cleaning in the bathroom. In today's video, we have put together some best disinfecting practices. As you work your way through your area, please use common sense and adjust to do the most effective job possible. It's most infectant when you clean your area to hit all the disinfecting touch points. When disinfectant, you want to make sure you have a five minute dwell time. Do, do I have to say it just like that? <laughs> it sounds the worst. Two, one. Hi, my name is Monique, and we're gonna. Oh, I messed up. I'm from Spring Harbor. Yeah. <laughs> on, when disinfecting all the touch points on the bubbler or fountain, you wanna. Oh, we, okay. we do that one. Here's another place in the LMC. Another area in the LMC I wanna disinfect. Yeah, or, <laughs> let's do it again. Uh, Bugs Bunny. Okay. <laughs> We also want to disinfect other <laughs> touch points. I disinfect other areas that <laughs> I can't remember what these are. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name is Brian Lionel. I'm with Hamilton Van Heis. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Three, two, one. In today's training video, we have put together. <laughs> say so. In today's training video, we have put together. No, I can't do it. In today's video, we have shown you some best practices of uh, disinfectant. <laughs> I think I do. In addition to, I don't remember. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Classroom cleaning. 